Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Dr. Robert Chan here. Today I'm going to talk about recovery after your vasectomy procedure for sterilization. If you haven't already subscribed, please take a second to hit the subscribe button. This is your number one source for men's health and urology related content. The number one question that I get from guys about vasectomies is, when can I have intercourse again? And the answer is, if there's no problems and you feel fine, about seven days. Ejaculating too soon after a vasectomy can lead to problems such as bleeding or an increased chance of the tubes reconnecting. Other things that you shouldn't do for at least seven days after your vasectomy procedure are anything where there's strenuous activity involved like weightlifting, bicycling, anything where you're lifting more than 15 pounds. For the first 48 hours after your vasectomy, you want to try to take it as easy as possible, try to lay down as much as you can and restrict yourself to just getting up to go eat or to the bathroom. It's helpful to have uh, something tight in terms of underwear like a jockey shorts or a jack strap just to kind of help with the support and keep some of the swelling down. Ice for the first six hours is really helpful. You can get yourself a bag of frozen peas, vegetables or carrots and put them on. 15 to 30 minutes on, and then 15 to 30 minutes off. This will help with this pain as well as with the swelling. It's really important to remember though, don't put the ice directly on your skin as it may cause it to necrose. In terms of your diet, you can eat whatever you want except for aspirin. Don't take any aspirin. Medications wise, if you're having some pain, it's recommended to take some acetaminophen also known as Tylenol. If the pain isn't well controlled with Tylenol, try some Advil or ibuprofen. In terms of your wound, try to keep the incision dry for at least 48 hours. After 48 hours, it's okay to go ahead and shower. There is gonna be a stitch with an absorbable suture that'll dissolve in a few weeks on its own. Wait about four to five days before you go back to taking a bath or soaking in a hot tub. It's not uncommon after a vasectomy to have some drainage, swelling, discomfort, or mild bruising. Problems that you should report to your urologist include fevers more than 100.5, chills, redness, severe swelling, or if like your scrotum swells up to the size of a grapefruit or softball, then give your urologist a call. Follow up. If everything's going okay, you probably don't need to have a follow-up appointment with your urologist after your vasectomy. It is important though to keep on using contraception until you have a confirmed semen analysis that tells you that you're sterile. Usually it takes about three months or 20 ejaculations before somebody's sterile, ejaculate in the cup, and then try to bring it to the semen lab. Try to bring it within an hour Sometimes it may take more than one or two samples to prove that you're finally sterile. But until basically your urologist tells you that you're sterile, just assume that you're not and keep on using whatever sort of contraception that you've been using during this time. 